Hi, I'm Jim Murray. I'm with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and I'm here today to talk about how to properly test a float and thermostatic steam trap. Today, I'm here to talk about the proper testing of a float and thermostatic steam trap, also known as F and T. Uh, the steam trap, as you know, is mostly found on lower pressure applications. And it's very important to make sure this trap is working properly uh, because of energy loss, because of safety concerns, and also equipment failure concerns. So what I like to do is walk up and I touch the trap. I can see that it's very hot. So that tells me the trap obviously isn't cold plug. So it's, it's either blowing through or working properly. Okay, and I, once again, I'm going to use an ultrasonic device to help me make that decision if the trap is blowing through or not. So I put it on the outlet of the trap and I listen and I can tell that it is not blowing through because if it was blowing through we would hear a sound that would be much more dynamic. The trap is working properly. Now to demonstrate what that sound would be like if this trap was uh, not working properly As you can see, it's pretty significant. That would be a major steam loss and something that should be corrected immediately. I'm Jim Murray with Affiliated Steam and Hot Water, and today I demonstrated how to properly test a float and thermostatic steam trap. For more videos and tips, go to affiliatedsteam.com today. Mm -hmm.